So today I'm making my roasted couscous salad, and it pretty much is couscous with a bunch of roasted vegetables in it. And today I'm going to top it with chicken. So to get started, you want to start with the chicken. So I just have some cutlets and add a little bit of oil. And this is Lowry seasoning salt. I love Lowry's. If you don't have Lowry's, just use salt and pepper. It's fine. Try and be aware of what you touch when you have your hands all covered with chicken juice. And right onto a baking sheet. 400 degree oven. So the next part of the roasted couscous salad is the vegetables. And today what I'm going to use is Brussels sprouts, broccoli, and some onions. And so you just need to give a little oil, a little sunflower oil. Go ahead and toss them. And I thought that this was really a little too crowded for this pan, so I'm going to move them over. All right, so make sure you put salt and pepper. And then right into the same 400 degree oven. We're going to let those roast for about 15 minutes and then give them a chance. So while the chicken and the vegetables are cooking, roasting in the oven, you want to get the couscous ready. And what I'm using is Israeli couscous. This is toasted pasta. It's pearl couscous. It's a little bit bigger than the regular couscous you might find in the store. And I thought that would be a nice change. So what you need to do is get your water boiling. This is one and a quarter cups of chicken stock. And uh, it's just coming up to simmer. We're going to go ahead and add some salt. Go ahead and add in your couscous. Once the couscous has reached the boil, cover it, reduce the heat to keep it simmering, and let it cook for about 8 to 10 minutes. The couscous has absorbed all of its liquid. Just let it sit with the lid on until you're ready to use So the chicken is done when it reaches 165 degrees, and that took about 16 minutes. And the vegetables were done just about the same time. Take your couscous. Spoon it right into, put those all into. So go ahead and just give a little toss just to get the quinoa, just to get the couscous kind of stirred into the veg. And just chop this into small, thin strips. Get the top. Now, just for a little bit of color, you can take some parsley, a little sprinkling of sesame seeds. And I think that's a really nice, easy salad that would make for dinner if you really wanted it to.